good morning in my last lecture i was talking about heterogeneous catalytic reaction kinetics and i discussed langmuir hinselwood type of kinetic model where the reactant species adsorbs on the surface of the catalyst and uh, transform into a product so if you look at the rate kinetics here the reactant species a it adsorbs on the surface then it transform into some surface reaction which is based on your adsorption surface reaction and desorption and then finally the product comes out and this is based on the langmuir hinselwood approach and the langmuir isotherm which we have already discussed that rate of adsorption is equal to rate of desorption which is at equilibrium so one can find out the rate determining step which is not at equilibrium will be used for calculating the rate and other steps of the reaction will be considered as an elementary step and they will be very fast and at equilibrium. So, the basic uh, principle of micro reversibility if you look at that these adsorbed species they remain only for a small period of time just like in the kinetics of homogeneous reaction and they transform into some stable product right. So, and the reaction step which is slowest of the total steps among the all steps that is considered at the rate determining step and other steps here will be fast and at equilibrium. And uh, we assume that these individual steps of the reaction mechanism they are behaving like an elementary reaction step. So, rate is directly given based on their stoichiometric coefficient or whatever the partial pressure as I discussed earlier and the fraction of the weakened side. So, you need to probe a reaction kinetics which is basically a surface reaction we are talking at this time assuming a Langmuir adsorption isotherm. So, in general there are two type of mechanism. So, one is based on Langmuir adsorption isotherm which has been discussed and will continue and second one is the L A radial type mechanism. So, in L A radial type mechanism one species is present in the gas phase the second species adsorbs on the surface and this adsorb species reacts with the species which is present in the gas phase and then transform into a product right something like if I say that here that this age the species which is here the species which adsorbs on the surface. So, fractions are covered here like theta a and then b remains in the gas phase and then it reacts and transform into some product which is here a b. Right. So, so that is another type of mechanism and that is known as L A radial type mechanism. So, here it will be something if you discuss some like reaction A plus B and gives a transform to a product P. So, A adsorbs on the site if I write S at the site then it gives some adsorbed species A S and then A S which is already adsorbed on the surface and the B will come and it will react with that rather it is adsorbing separately on the another vacant side and then it may transform something like R s right and then plus maybe there may be some other product something like P and then R s desorbs and gives you R plus whatever s a vacant side. So, this is your product and this may be another or so I can write it P plus R also that depends right. So, this is a kind of L a radial mechanism where one species is present in the gas phase and another is adsorbed on the surface and then reacting with this. And there can be several type of mechanism and based on the uh, density functional theory, based on the bondings, based on some surface characterization, one can identify the mechanism for a given reaction or one can postulate a mechanism and then confirm it from the experimental data. So, in the langmuir hinselwood mechanism just to distinguish between the two the reactants are all adsorbed on the surface and react at the surface. So, that is a kind of the reaction throughout the on the at the surface of the solid or on the surface of the solid right. And in the case of L A Riddle mechanism the reaction is between a reactant which is in gas phase here right and the second one which is adsorbed on the surface. So, it is something like what A s you say or A star and reacting with the gas phase molecule right. And both kind of mechanism or both kind of uh, postulations may be given for a given surface reaction, but finally, the rate equation which has been obtained by assuming a 
particular step as a rate controlling is uh, controlling step rate determining step the overall rate of reaction is to be determined and confirmed from the experimental data. So, overall any reaction which may be a reversible type say A gives you R. So, the reactant species they adsorb on a vacant site and then there is a kind of camage option right whether it is Langmuir or on a LED kind of camage option and these steps are reversible and then it transforms to some surface reaction and then there is a kind of desorption of the product. So, finally, you get a product right. So, adsorption step which is here then surface reaction where the product is forming and then the product species are desorbing from the surface and then you have a vacant site and this cycle continues. So, catalyst is always free from the reactant species or active sites are available for further reaction. So, cycle continues. So, again there is a pictorial diagram for this Langmuir Hinselwood. So, species A adsorbs on the surface right then there is a kind of camage option and then there is a surface reaction the product transform then there is another reactant. So, it is a kind of A plus B which is shown here transformed to P. So, this is your product P. So, A is adsorbed B is adsorbed and then they are there is a kind of surface reaction here and then this species to job transforms into a product. If you look at here in the L A readle type of mechanism A adsorbs on the surface, but B is already on the gas phase. So, it is a kind of the reaction between the adsorbed species of A and the B A star plus B and that transforms into a product. So, this is just a distinction between the Langmuir Hinselwood or L readle type of mechanism. So, how to find the rate expression that is again important and then determination of rate law parameter which is generally done by regression technique right uh, and different methods can be used for that purpose. So, Langmuir Hinselwood mechanism unimolecular. So, unimolecular as you have seen in the homogeneous reaction kinetics or learned there that a single molecule takes part during the reaction right. So, unimolecular, bimolecular, multimolecular right and same kind of a species or different kind of a species may have a chemical reaction right. So, unimolecular means when a single reaction molecule takes part during the reaction just like A goes to B right. So, here it is shown here the single molecular species which adsorbs on the surface then there is a surface reaction. So, it reacts and the product is desorbed right. So, P is not adsorbed it desorbs from the surface right. So, A which is adsorbed like this and then product P forms. Sometimes it may happen that the product species may further adsorb. So, say sometime the poison precursor the poison or the uh, when the coke formation during the uh, hydrocarbon reactions right the product forms and this may be a kind of the aromatic hydrocarbon and then further goes to the polycondensation reaction over the surface of the solid. So, these kind of reaction mechanism or understanding of these kind of reaction mechanism can give you some idea about the reactor design. So, that one can look at that which step is rate controlling by which step the undesired product may form and depending upon the activation energies right or rate constant calculation one can optimize the experimental reaction condition and get them or maximize the product uh, distribution especially when you have a multiple reaction right. So, for this kind of reaction all of you know now that suppose if I am saying that this rate of adsorption R is equal to K times the concentration of this covered right surface area that is the fraction of the sites of A which is covered here. So, it is just like the concentration of the species. So, basically now you know that the when the system is at equilibrium then rate of adsorption is equal to rate of desorption. So, here you have to postulate the different mechanism just like A adsorbs on the site A star and then a star and then A star which is written here in the first A at job. So, that is basically your A star and A star transform into a product P which is a gas phase and P is not at job right. So, this system may be a rate controlling or this system may be a rate controlling right. So, depending upon so, this is basically your surface reaction and this is your adsorption of A and finally, if this this will desorb also. So, you write it like this also right or write A star goes to A plus A star which is a desorption of A right. So, because the sites are vacant or A star transform into this. So, when I say that suppose this step is rate controlling the rate will be directly written based on this concentration right. So, if 
So, rate of reaction R a can be written simply some constant for this suppose if I write this is k 2. So, k 2 times the concentration of a star. So, this is the general representation just like in an elementary reaction. So, this is a star which is the concentration of the adsorbed species, but not known right. So, you have to write down a side balance, but I discussed earlier that the sites total side balance C t is equal to weakened site plus sites which are covered by A right. So, I will write it A star or something in terms of fraction of the site. So, 1 is equal to theta V plus theta A. So, this is the fraction of the sites covered weakened site and this is the fraction of the sites which are covered by A right. So, one can very easily find either this you write rate of reaction in this form or you write in the form of K times theta A right and apply the side balance. So, by knowing this and this step is now fast and at equilibrium. So, for this one can very easily write the rate of adsorption of this right is equal to rate of desorption right. So, rate of adsorption of A either you write in terms of this is partial pressure of A or concentration of A times the concentration of the weakened site right. So, you can very easily write here say suppose if I write K adsorption times the concentration of A right or in terms of partial pressure either way one can write is equal to or times the concentration of the star here. So, this is a vacant site right this is rate of adsorption and so is equal to rate of desorption. So, that is K desorption times the concentration of A star right. So, that is so, this this is one can very easily write the expression. So, this is basically A star when I am writing it is something like this fraction of the sites covered by A. So, one and I am saying that this is not rate controlling. So, this means this step is very fast right and so this will always be at equilibrium. So, one can very easily find out the relationship for between theta v and theta star right and then use this equation and one can find out this A star or theta A and substitute it here and this is your overall rate of reaction. So, this is what I am going to discuss a here right. So, basically when you are writing a rate of reaction. So, just like in an homogeneous catalytic we are writing rate is proportional to the concentrations right. So, this is concentration of the active site and the concentration of the reactant species and depending upon the stoichiometry right. So, there can be several postulations depending upon the mechanism uh, or postulated mechanism the rate expression will be different. And because we do not know as a priori that which step is rate controlling. So, in a model development one has to write or assume each step as a rate determining step and then calculate. So, you can have 1, 2, 3, 4 models right based on some literature review or based on some experimental information based on some theory or bond energy theory one can postulate that which is which may be the slowest step. So, we can, one can short list the number of reactions which are involved during the mechanism right. So, this is what this this I this is nothing but simply Langmuir adsorption isotherm which has been shown here right. The rate of adsorption is equal to rate of desorption at equilibrium right and that is what what I discussed here. So, from here it, it is calculated. So, this k adsorption divided by k desorption is your adsorption equilibrium constant capital K A which is shown here right and this other things are simply the theta this theta A is something like A star which is written here right. So, theta A which is the fraction of the sites covered by A is equal to this divided by this. So, K adsorption K desorption is adsorption equilibrium constant times the concentration of A which can be written in terms of P A partial pressure right and that term is here right and the third term theta V that is nothing but what you have calculated from the site balance right. So, this this is the fraction of the sites which I am writing here theta V plus theta A. So, theta V is calculated theta this theta A can be substituted from here in this expression right and then substitute back in this. So, you have the expression which is something like 1 upon 1 plus K P A and this is what the if the adsorption is just controlling. So, this is just like what the R is equal to K times theta A. So, surface coverage which is related to gas pressure via Langmuir adsorption isotherm that is the this expression which I was talking the this is based on the surface coverage right. So, one can very easily write the rate expression by solving this equation and you can have the expression in terms of rate when the surface reaction is rate controlling. So, 
either adsorption rate controlling right. So, k times theta a and the surface reaction rate controlling the expression will come something like this. So, one can very easily write down these expressions, but I have shown here or derive the expression for different step as the rate controlling, because when the surface reaction is rate controlling minus r a is equal this is my surface reaction here right. So, minus r a is equal to k times the concentration of a star. So, concentration of a star you will calculate from this expression which I have just talked right and that theta which is the concentration of vacant site which is calculated from here side balance. So, basically if I just show you the further calculation. So, theta v plus theta a fraction of the site which is 1. So, theta v plus theta a which is calculated from the first expression that will be simply here if you calculate theta a is simply capital K, K adsorption divided by K desorption times the partial pressure. Now, I am writing just to show you the result the concentration right and times this is theta v right from this expression. So, K adsorption divided by K desorption is your capital K A sometimes we write like this and this is your P A partial pressure data and this is the concentration of vacant site. So, one can very easily substitute the value of theta a here. So, your expression becomes like this k a times p a times theta v and that is equal to 1. So, you can calculate theta v from here now that is simply your 1 divided by 1 plus k a p a right. So, this one that is your surface reaction if rate controls. So, you write your minus r a is equal to k times a star. So, for surface reaction rate controlling minus r a which is rate constant for the surface reaction times your concentration of a star at job species right. So, theta a which is already calculated this 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 what I said here right. So, you can very easily substitute it now k times this is your 1 over 1 plus k a p a right. So, this this rate which is given here r a times k times a star. So, a star is calculated from here that is k adsorption divided by this. So, times your capital k times p a correct. So, this expression is your a star. So, a star is calculated from here again which is simply capital K A which I have shown here already capital K A times A times theta V and theta V is calculated from this expression right. So, R A is equal to capital K adsorption times A times theta V for adsorption rate control. control. So, I will write it R A is equal to for adsorption. So, let me write for adsorption first. So, your surface reaction let, let me write for surface reaction. So, minus r a which is your surface reaction rate control controlling here. So, k times a star or theta a right and a star which we have already calculated from this expression is your now k times capital K a right times p a times theta v right this one this is from this expression because you are calculating a star. So, a star is k adsorption times a times theta v divided by k desorption and theta v we have already calculated here. So, instead of that I will write it now k times capital K a p a divided by theta v is 1 over 1 plus k a p a. So, this is for a surface reaction rate control right. If this step is the rate controlling which we have discussed here. If this step is the rate controlling then r a is equal to k times a star and a star is calculated from this expression that is substituted here and then the value has been reported here right. So, the, the, this is just a simple monomolecular reaction there may be a bimolecular multi molecular right or with different species a plus b gives you p plus r and the product species may also adsorb on the surface right. So, different cases may come or case to case you have to look at the overall mechanism of the reaction. So, this is the rate expression of Langmuir type or Langmuir Henselwood type 
when surface reaction is rate controlling. So, one thing is clear the species which adsorbs it appears in the denominator right. So, it means the adsorbed species the num for that you need more and more number of active sites because if there is suppose poison precursor is there and it adsorbs on the surface it will it will come in the denominator of the reaction right. And if it is in the denominator and that product species does not dissolve, suppose the poison is there, it has chemical job there and does not dissolve. So, those sites are already poison, right. So, this is used for deactivation also, the same expression, right. So, there can be different expressions for this and details of deactivation we will study later. So, just as an example here, the ammonia decomposition has been taken over tungsten surface, right twice N H 3 and gives you nitrogen plus hydrogen right. So, that is what the decomposition of ammonia on tungsten surface and rate is generally first order at low pressures this has been observed experimentally while as the pressure increase it changes to 0 order right. So, sometimes based on experimental data you can postulate a rate mechanism. The meaning is something like that if you have minus R A rate of reaction of ammonia as a function of partial pressure of ammonia right one can check this trend by measuring this right. So, any type of this the trend may be like this it can be like this also. So, depending upon the experimental information you can see here in this case at low pressure rate is linear right and at a high pressure if this is the case the rate is almost constant independent of pressure right whereas, it in this case it decreases with pressure right and the drop may be a linear drop right it may be some kind of polynomial drop also right. So, by understanding this rate because you have the some micro kinetic reaction in data where you have the differential reactor and you have taken the data in terms of conversion and the space time suppose right and that can be at different temperature. So, that is that homogeneous kinetics or heterogeneous catalytic reaction kinetics which you must be knowing now. So, conversion versus something like a space time data which is w is the mass of the catalyst f a naught is the feed rate of the limiting component right. So, these trends generally will go like this right the conversion will increase as you increase the space time inside the reactant right or in other way f a naught by w you say that can be your space velocity right gas hourly space velocity liquid hourly space velocity and the knowing this information generally for differential reactor we use the conversion data less than 10 percent or 15 percent right. So, by having a slope or tangent here because you know your differential reaction design equation w y that is f a naught d x a I will write. So, f a naught d x a is equal to minus r a right or if you have something like in the case of per unit mass of the catalyst. So, R a into d w. So, I can write it basically the equation which you write that w by f a naught for the integral reactor generally you write it like this plug flow reactor suppose. So, 0 to x d x over minus R a right this is your plug flow. So, generally integral approach when you are taking the complete bed length right. So, but generally this minus R a data right minus R a data is taken from the slope of that right the conversion was a w by f a naught. So, in general what we say that for a differential reactor if you write a mass balance here in a packed bed reactor. So, this is your delta w mass, but I discussed last time also for a plug flow reactor design equation. So, something like this. So, something is in something is out here right and this is your mass of the catalyst in the bed right. So, if you have here suppose this mass is g w delta w this is input right. So, f a here something and here it is f a plus d f a change in the molar constant flow rate of species a right. So, you you can have a differential balance or this f a can be a dispersive term also or a convective term, but for a plug flow we just write it f a is something like c a naught into v naught if you look at that concentration multiplied by the volumetric flow rate right. So, either you write in this form that is you know the volumetric flow rate of the feed, you know the concentration of the limiting component in the feed. So, this is your F a right input molar flow rate like that F a naught if I write here right. So, at any point in a differential section if you are selecting a differential reactor or micro reactor then you can find out how many moles in 
how many moles are out right and what are the number of moles which is reacted here right. So, your material balance equation is simply F A suppose at z minus F A at z plus delta z right input minus output <coughs> material balance equation minus disappearance because of chemical reaction. So, that is minus R A dash I am writing here because rate of reaction is per unit mass of the catalyst right. Since, this is per unit mass of the catalyst. So, into delta w or d w whatever right. So, input minus output minus disappearance because of chemical reaction and that is equal to accumulation, but at a steady state there is no accumulation right. So, within this differential section of the reactor what are the moles of A in and what are the moles of A out and that has been calculated. Now, you know that F A if input is known F A is basically moles of A at any differential section z right and that is simply related to F A naught 1 minus x A right moles in minus moles reacted. So, basically this how did you get this thing moles of A left right that is the concentration of reactant species present at that point z right. So, this is basically input F A naught minus the moles reacted. So, that is simply F A naught into x A right because F A naught is the molar flow rate and x is the fractional conversion. So, moles in minus out divided by in right. So, if this is your F A naught minus F A naught x A and that is your F A at any point right. And if you are doing F A plus D F A that is what we have said in the differential section this is D F A right. So, basically this equation which is written F A at z plus delta z that is nothing but what is the moles in at f right and what is in the differential section change in that moles right that is F A plus what I wrote D F A. So, basically this equation which is F A here is F A plus D F A here change in that in that differential section and which one can directly write from Taylor expression also differentiation of that right. So, what is this ultimately it is simply D F A right. So, F A is this F A naught 1 minus x A. So, just D F A of this will be simply minus of F A naught D x A differentiation of this right derivative of this. So, either you write in terms of D x A by D w D F A by D w also one can write directly right F A plus F A times D F A that is uh, D F A by D w into delta w right in differential section and what is the differential mass in that section. So, what I mean to say this is F A at z which one can write in terms of F A naught minus F A naught x A this is at F A plus F A D F A. So, same number right. So, only the differential term D F A is left here F A naught D x A. So, this whole term is basically now your F A naught D x A with negative right sign. So, what what do you get from this? This same expression which you have done for homogeneous kinetics, right? So, what is the information you get here in terms of F A naught D X A is equal to? So, I have the expression left F A naught D X A is equal to minus R A, which is representing just disappearance of A into delta W or D W, right? So, let me write it here. So, F A naught D X A is equal to minus R A dash times D w. So, this information which has been obtained from this mass balance in a reactor F A at z minus F A at z plus delta z. So, this is my z here and this is the z plus delta z between two differential sections right and this. So, either you write in terms of delta w d w or you write in terms of z right. So, that time if you write in terms of z multiplied by area of cross section into the mass density that is volume of catalyst multiplied by density of catalyst that is your mass of the catalyst right and you can include the white fraction if there are voids also right bad void fraction. So, one can very easily correlate this F A naught D X A is equal to minus R A dash into D W. So, this equation is what I told the differential equation right. So, basically this what you are getting here F A naught D X A by D W or D F A by D W. So, this is also mine D F A by D W that is equal to minus R A dash here right. So, this F A naught D X A I have already defined here right. So, this is your D F A. So, this is D F A by D W you say or F A naught D X A by D W. So, another the same definition is F A naught D X by D W 
and that is equal to minus r a dash. This is the expression for defining the rate in the case of a heterogeneous catalytic reaction, right. So, it means d f a by d w, if you have the data on this f a as a function of w or either you say like this f a, so you one can have expression like this also f a versus w, right and take the slope. So, f a is basically decreasing right down the length of a reactor. So, in a commercial reactor you have large reactor right large mass of the catalyst. So, from inlet the conversion is 0 right and exit it is the conversion some value say 90 percent 80 percent whatever x value right. So, your f a which is basically f a not 1 minus x a right. So, x is increasing x is your conversion. So, if you have this data it will go like this right and if you have x versus w which I was talking earlier that will increase. So, what information you get now you get this w by f a naught which I was talking is your space time right. So, conversion versus w by f a naught data one can have and which will go like this right and this if you have different temperature you know at higher temperature the kinetics will dominate. So, you will have more data points right more the slope of this line will increase the rate will be higher in one way. So, the tangent here is simply your this rate right. So, one can very easily calculate minus r a by taking this slope of this line right and this is what information you get when you have the different kind of expression now. So, one can get this rate and then you have the expression at different partial pressure or the concentration of the reactant species. So, you can look at the trend in terms of minus r a that is overall rate as a function of partial pressure right and this may be like this as we were talking it may be like this also right. So, that is what the experimental observation of the data right. So, once you have this information one can postulate the mechanism that you know that at low pressure low relative partial pressure the rate is increasing linearly right. So, it means that time something here this term is dominating compared to this denominator term right or when you see at high pressure the rate becomes something like here suppose this constant right. So, it means the denominator is now dominating somewhere here right and when denominator is dominating compared to 1 this is almost a constant line here rate is constant independent of partial pressure. So, it means by looking at your experimental data for any unknown reaction one can look at what kind of mechanism has been developed or to be developed right. So, these are certain uh, fundamentals of the reaction engineering to find out the rate and correlate the rate as a function of temperature, partial pressure or other say effect of inert can be studied right other parameters some effect of poison precursor can be studied and one can look at these effects and then can develop a mechanism and that mechanism is important for reactor design or commercialization of the process right. So, this is what for ammonia decomposition has been observed that the rate is first order at low partial pressure or when the pressure is high it shows a zero order kinetics. So, this is what we have discussed now that when the pressure is very high right at high pressure then your k into p denominator right this term at high pressure this k p is very very high compared to 1 right. So, the denominator approximates to something like this just k p right in the denominator and so your rate will just become like this right capital K capital K cancels. So, almost constant. So, that meaning is that adsorption rate is very large when pressure is high because I told you the species which adsorb on the surface right that is the rate that is that will come in the denominator of the rate expression right. So, when you see that at higher pressure there is no adsorption of that species observed so it means the that time this adsorption rate has become very large compared to second part surface reaction right. So, that time surface reaction may be a rate controlling. So, that is the ammonia decomposition step is the rate determining. So, ammonia decomposition means when ammonia is decomposing it comes and adsorbs on the surface of the tungsten and then there is a surface reaction 
right, by which it splits to nitrogen and hydrogen and that dechops from the surface. Right. And when the pressure is very high, then your adsorption of A is very, very high right, and that step is not rate controlling. The second case, when the pressure is very, very low. right. So, low pressure, so this term which is here in the denominator, right, because pressure is low, so this term 1 will be dominating compared to the second term of that. right. So, in this case, your k p, k into p basically much more less than 1. So, rate will go as a straight line linearly on gas pressure right? and it is showing a first order kinetic. Right? So, when that time the rate is simply k times capital K that is adsorption equilibrium constant times the partial pressure. right? So, it means that time the adsorption process is the rate determining step when the pressure is very low. It means that the controlling factor is the adsorption of ammonia onto the surface, but the as soon as it adsorbs immediately it transforms to the product. So, decomposition is very very fast that is not controlling the, or the time taken for decomposition step is very low. And this same thing has been just uh, uh, shown in uh, summary as a summary. So, unimolecular reaction meaning that single molecular species A adsorbs on a surface and react, reacts right the product does not dissolve adsorb on the surface. So, this is what the Langmuir Henselwood type mechanism. So, A gas adsorb on the surface and transform into a product which dissolves right. So, your rate of reaction for adsorption is simply R is equal to k times the theta A right here the surface coverage of the adsorbed gas. So, you substitute theta A value which is k A p A over 1 plus k A p A. So, your rate becomes k k A times p A times 1 plus k p A which we have already seen right. So, decomposition of ammonia on the surface which is a first order low at, at low pressure and as the pressure increase it change to the 0 order and just showing a saturation kinetics right. So, surface coverage related to the gas pressure P via Langmuir adsorption isotherm that has been discussed in this. So, surface which is covered is your theta A proportional to the pressure of the gas and denominator will have the adsorption species right. So, there can be different limiting species uh, situation which we have already discussed. So, K P is much more greater than 1 right which will show that rate is independent of the gas pressure. So, zero order kinetics and that time your rate is just constant right. In the second case when the pressure is very very low, the rate will depend linearly on the pressure and showing a first order kinetics right. So, that time adsorption is the rate limiting. So, one can have the analysis based on the mechanism and comparison with the experimental data can be done. So, just again a summarized form suppose the reaction A plus B gives you R. So, at that condition your rate of adsorption is equal to rate of desorption when you say the equilibrium right. So, if you write two species now right. So, as I said earlier also. So, A plus B transforms to R. So, both species here if you look at theta A is the fraction of the surface covered by A and theta B is the fraction of the surface covered by B right. So, A is adsorbing it means. So, A plus star some A star here right and then same thing for B, B plus star gives you B star. So, these two terms which has not been which have not been shown here rather right, but have been written directly right. So, you know that rate of adsorption of A. So, R A is simply here R A adsorption I will write I am not writing overall rate right. I am saying rate of adsorption of A, one can say it is net rate of adsorption also, but when you are saying at equilibrium and I am assuming that these two adsorption steps are at equilibrium right or just you are reporting that the net rate of adsorption here. So, it is simply the adsorption rate constant first term which is written here capital uh, small k A adsorption for A times the concentration of partial pressure of A at P A times the concentration of the weakened side. So, theta V right the side will be theta V and other side if it is a reversible because these are desorption also simultaneously there. 
so your k minus adsorption of a right k minus a i i can write here or k desorption you can write and times the concentration of the site which is our covered by a so one can write it theta a right so this expression here is something like which is written here k a desorption times the fraction theta a and k a adsorption times the partial pressure of a and this theta v which is vacant side i told you the side balance so side balance is that side covered by a plus side covered by b plus the vacant side theta v and this will be 1 right so again we are talking here a langmuir adsorption isotherm right so it means the sides a a is also covered b is also covering the side and then you are writing a side balance so this is just for adsorption of a Similarly, second step is adsorption of B. So, similar expression you get right here also that is partial pressure of B times the rate constant for adsorption and the vacant site times the desorption and whatever the rate constant times the sub covered site B. Right? So, one can very easily solve these two equations right? and find out theta and theta b. Right? Because now you have the expressions in terms of theta and theta b and one equation already you have written in terms of side balance right so two equation two are known because already third one is known so you can find out theta a you can find out theta b right so theta a is simply k a p a divided by 1 plus k a p a plus k b p b same thing for the theta b also so one can see that the denominator has same because i said the species which adsorbs on the surface of the catalyst will appear in the denominator of the reaction and these are the species which are chopped right. So, in general if you look at theta a is equal to k a p a divided by 1 plus sigma of k i p i where k i p i or are the number of species that is that may be adsorbing on the surface. there can be a competitive type of adsorption. So, just the same case, but we have discussed earlier right. So, A is adsorbing B is adsorbing. So, this it can be like this a competition between the two because the sites available are limited right and both species are adsorbing on the surface. So, it means here you can get a kind of maximum in your rate right because the depending upon the partial pressure of A partial pressure of B in the gas species reactant species in the reactant gas your rate may affect. Right. So, effect of partial pressure becomes very important in this case because there is a competition right. Sometimes it may happen that A plus B and you have taken the large concentration of B, but B covers all the side because it is adsorbing. So, A does not find A suppose concentration of A is low. So, A will not have enough sites for adsorption on the surface right and that will depend on the rate constant for adsorption right that is what the micro reaction kinetics which we are talking earlier or a sticking probability right that will depend on the gas pressure and the kinetics right. So, flux that is the flux which we are talking earlier is related to these things that how fast is the adsorption on the surface of a catalyst right. So, this can have more than one gas phase species adsorbing on the same surface and especially when you have biometric type of catalyst suppose right and uh, you see that you have platinum rhenium on some alumina support and then on say the platinum the A species adsorb faster compared to the second species then it may happen that these sites are covered by one species only and the you will not get any product right. So, that time you have to look at the effect of partial pressure or optimize the process conditions for the reaction. So, if one species adsorb the other is blocked and that is known as a competitive adsorption and you have to look at the effect of this. So, A gas adsorbs on the surface, B gas adsorbs on the surface. So, you can have B A B B like this and so on so on B B B same thing here and A A A. So, that that is what the concentration of one species may be higher or lower on the surface right. So, this is what is shown here that the catalyst surface A is adsorbing, 2 is B is adsorbing. So, two different gas phase reactants and they compete for adsorption sites right. So, here the when these two have adsorbed on the surface now they are reacting together because reaction is between two adsorbed species. So, A is adsorbed B is in gas phase no chemical reaction right because it is uh, your reaction experimental data show that the, the you need the 
B also to be at job on the surface, right? And one can postulate these kind of mechanisms. So when A is at job, so in this case the reaction is something. If you look at here, that A plus B, which is shown some product R, say here C. So A is absorbing something like this A star. B is absorbing, so B plus star gives you B star. These may be reversible steps, right? Adsorption, desorption. And then these two adsorbed species are reacting. So, A star plus B star gives you say some kind of C star plus D star like this. So, I can write it like this also, right. And then these products will desorb. So, C star will give you C plus star and D star gives you D plus star, which may be reversible, which may be irreversible, right. So, generally it depends on the rate. So, one can write like this also. Right. So, now see there can be several combinations I just said this may be rate controlling this step or this may be rate controlling. So, any one or there may be that two three steps of the rate reaction may also be rate controlling sometimes it may also happen. Right. So, so you have to write that time the pseudo steady state hypothesis that the net rate of formation of intermediate is 0 what you write in your homogeneous reactions right pseudo steady state hypothesis. So, so, here this is the meaning that the competitive adsorption and this is your surface reaction right. The adsorption of A, this is adsorption of B, then there is a reaction between the adsorption species at the surface. So, surface reaction and then finally, these two are the desorption steps right. The product is desorbed from the surface. So, also known as biomolecular surface reaction. So, you can again solve these equations, but I said earlier again the expression for this will be the same method, same approach, right. So, A plus star A star. So, just you can write that expression K A times P A K P A times the concentration of vacant site, right, is equal to whatever K desorption times the sites covered by A, right. A star means theta, theta A, right, site covered by A. Same thing here, site covered by B, which is equal to here K B times the partial pressure of B times the concentration of vacant site right. Here it is surface reaction you can consider as a rate controlling step or RDS because as I said most of the reactions in hydrogen scatteritic reactions are controlled by surface reaction right. So, that is 80 per more than 80 percent reactions are controlled by. So, first analysis can be done just based on this right. If this is rate controlling this will not be at equilibrium right. So, you have to calculate net rate of reaction just like the K times A concentration of this adsorbed species times the concentration of this species minus the concentration of C adsorbed minus times the concentration of D adsorbed right. Just like an elementary reaction rate. So, and same thing for desorption. So, this will be a fast and at equilibrium and this is also a fast and at equilibrium. So, adsorbed sites are A, B, C, D as it is shown in this case right. right. So, you can have the fraction of the sites which is say total sites which is 1 is nothing but theta a plus theta b plus theta c plus theta d. So, one equation is there and other equation you can generate from the other steps right assuming them they are fast and at equilibrium. So, calculate the again the unknown steps like the theta a, theta b, theta c, theta d can be calculated and submitted and this is what we are shown in this case right. So, the first step of the reaction is simply k a p a which is written here right that is written here and here in this case it is shown that only A and B are adsorbing. I have made a more general statement here. I said that C and D are product species are also adsorbing, but here it is just mentioned that A plus B gives you the product species. So, these two steps are not there basically. So, A star plus B star gives you C plus D and 2 star something like this you can say right. So, that time these are not desorbing right. So, you can have a step something just like this equation. So, this is the meaning here that theta a and theta b. So, only these two species are adsorbed. So, side balance is simply your theta a plus theta b plus theta v is equal to 1. So, this is simply representing your concentration of the 1 minus theta a minus theta b is the concentration of the vacant site right. So, theta a upon theta v that is a fraction of the sites covered by a divided by the vacant site and that is what written here in terms of K A P A. So, that is the first step of reaction in this one right because this P A times theta V is equal right 
or if I write capital K A times P A times theta V is equal to whatever here is theta A right. So, theta A can be calculated here or you can write a relationship between these two this is theta A divided by theta V which is written here right that is simply capital K A times P A. Same thing for B also. So, K B times P B is defined by theta B upon 1 minus theta A minus theta B right. So, that is here. So, one can very easily solve them and theta A is K A P A over 1 plus K A P A plus K B P B. You can calculate from the side balance overall side balance and apply this here by calculating the value of theta A and theta B from these two equations. So, just solve these two equations for theta A and theta B. So, you will have the theta A and theta B and this just indicate that these are the only species which adsorb on the surface. So, they will appear in the denominator. Equilibrium constant we have already defined capital K, K 1 upon K minus 1 or K adsorption divided by K desorption same thing for K B right. So, net rate right of reaction which is here written in terms of the adsorb rate of A that is fraction of the sites covered by A times fraction of the sites covered by B just like because you are writing a bimolecular surface reaction right which is here third step right. So, R A is equal to K times theta A theta B assuming the step is irreversible right. So, this is what written here right. So, rate of reaction is simply theta A times theta B times the rate constant for the surface reaction. So, it is simply you substitute the value of uh, this theta A and theta B from this these two equations. So, you have finally, the expression which is in the form of this K K A K B P A P B divided by 1 plus K A P A plus K B P B whole square right. So, surface bimolecular reaction and surface reaction is rate controlling you get a square here. So, basically what we say here the rate is proportional to some kinetic term this is, this is your kinetic term right capital small k and this is your driving force basically if the reaction is reversible then it will depend on the concentrations of the c and d also. So, you will have p a p b minus p c p d something like that right. So, for reversible reaction so that so it is nothing but the how much how far is the reaction is away from the equilibrium right or that is what you call driving force for reaction. And same thing here also that in terms of partial pressures of A and B. So, they are the deciding factor for the reaction right and divide by 1 plus K A P A right. So, these are the adsorption term right. So, in general one can write the rate is equal to the rate constant that is the temperature dependent term basically right kinetic constant times the driving force and divide by the adsorption term to the power n right. So, this is 1 also you have seen in the first case and here it is square. So, that can explain your rate if you get your minus r a as a function of partial pressure and it goes like this right. So, in this case you see here initially it is increasing so either you can write in terms of partial pressure of a or it can be plotted separately as a partial pressure of a and partial pressure of B. So, when you are studying partial pressure of A put partial pressure of B constant and vice versa right. So, these curves can be obtained as a function of partial pressure of A and partial pressure of B. So, here this can just explain that term in the denominator because suppose you have a very high pressure right at very high pressure the denominator term is suppose I am just talking here K P A term. So, denominator term K P A is much larger compared to the other two terms right at high pressure condition. So, that time this will become K A small k K A K B P A P B divided by P A square right. So, denominator is so it becomes P B upon P A right at by a high pressure of A. So, that time your rate will start decreasing right. So, it means you need to tune the partial pressure of A and B to find out the maximum in rate because same similar trend you will get for effect of partial pressure of the B also right. So, this is what the expression shown here and if you just find out the maximization of the rate. So, rate will be maximum 
when the partial pressure of A is equal to partial pressure of B or theta A is equal to theta B and value is 0.5, right. So, this is just the analogy you can very easily find out to find the maximize this the slope will be 0 at that kind, right or apply your maxima and minima uh, conditions, right take the derivative and set it to 0 and find out the uh, condition for that, right. So, what I mean to say here is that these rate expressions can be explained based on the whatever you get from experimental data and can be postulated based on the mechanism or mechanism can be postulated based on those rate expression data, right. So, here you can see the rate is limited by the surface concentration of A. So, rate versus partial pressure of A has been shown, so at very high partial pressure the rate has gone down, right, almost 0 here. So, this is what the because very high partial pressure means that all the surface is covered by A, right, and now B is not able to find any active site. Right, for adsorption and when B is not able to adsorb there will not be any chemical reaction. So, the surface reaction which you have written A star plus B star and transform into a product that is not possible at this case right. So, this is the or there are two postulations which have been shown that in this condition the rate is limited by surface concentration of A in this zone because the partial pressure of A is low right. When the partial pressure of A is low then your rate of adsorption of B is larger right. So, so, more sites of B are covered compared to A. So, limiting component will become this and other side here when you are saying partial pressure of A is very high then it may B is low right. So, that time this is rate is limited by surface concentration of B and this is the meaning here the surface theta B is much more less than theta A right. The fraction surface covered by A is much high right. Here in this case if you see here the theta B is much more greater than A. So, this is your B and this is your A right here. So, this is your A and this is your B. So, accordingly your rate of reaction will change right. So, I will continue it next time a little mechanism.